Welcome back to the tech table. I've been getting a ton of email about these new Mac laptops with the Thunderbolt port in them and the hot new AMD card that ships in this Mac. And the questions are really, how well does this work with the Mercury playback engine? And on today's tech table, I'm gonna show you just that. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the specs on this new laptop from Apple. As you can see, it's the current 17 inch 2.3 gigahertz Core i7 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And as you would expect, it's the hot new AMD Radeon 6750 card. So let's go ahead and see how great this system performs in Premiere Pro. Before I jump into the demo and start showing you the playback in the settings, let's just review for a second what Mercury's 64-bit playback is all about. One of the first things you need to know is that in our 64-bit system, we have an entire new way of dealing with available RAM for Adobe applications. So Premiere Pro, as you can see, is currently open. The system currently has 8 gigabytes of RAM, and as you can see, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Encore, and Media Encoder will all share a pool of 6.5 gigabytes of RAM. Simply put, the more memory you have, the more you can start to split it up for different types of applications. So, for example, if, if I happen to have 24 gigs of RAM, I might go ahead and give these applications 16 and give the rest of the applications like Photoshop, maybe I'm using a third party uh, program, maybe a 3D program like Cinema 4D for Maxon or other tools like that where I want to make sure they have available RAM. So this ability to be able to split up RAM is a huge benefit when dealing with 64-bit applications. Another area to review is under the project settings general. You'll notice we have an area down here for video rendering and playback and currently it defaults to the Mercury playback engine software only which is what I want to demo to you today. There seems to be a lot of confusion out there as I mentioned before that you have to have a special CUDA enabled graphics card in order to get great performance out of Premiere Pro, and it's simply wrong. The Mercury Playback Engine, again, has two modes. It has a 64-bit software mode, which is blazingly fast, and you do get extra benefit, no question, if you happen to have a CUDA card and you really need to stack on effects and layers. No question that that will help, but what I want to show you today is that the software-only rendering engine is really fast and perfect for most workflows. Many of the customers that I talk to today feel that the workflow that the software engine has for them today is perfect for their needs. Okay, let's just jump right in and start showing you some different layers and how things work. Again, just using the AMD 6750 card that's in the machine. So I'm going to double click on a sequence which happens to be made up of six layers. It's got some graphics on there, a PSD file, four video tracks, and I just want to show you how great this plays back. I'm going to go ahead and hit the tilde key and bring this up full screen and make sure that our playback mode is set to full. So I'm going to right mouse click, go to playback resolution, and make sure that it's at full resolution. Again, for those of you that are new to this feature, depending on the capabilities of your laptop or your desktop, you can actually scale this down so you can really get excellent playback that fits your computer. This is perfect for when you're trying to deal with timings and things like that of titles and other effects which need to come into play. And your system may not be able to play this back real time. But this new laptop has no problem playing these videos back, which I'll show you. As you see, we've got a Photoshop file spinning in. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the eight layer sequence here and we'll show you what's going on. As you'll notice, you've got six video layers, picture in picture, with some effects. There's crop and motion and position tied to those, as well as a green screen and a graphic. So let me go ahead and just bring that up full screen and hit play. And as you can see, you've got very smooth playback with those effects stacked on there. So again, the 64-bit engine is really kicking in in a software-only mode. Okay, let's go ahead and create a custom sequence using some Canon 5D files and some other file types. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this screen down just a little bit, and let's go down and take a look at our tapeless formats. As you guys know, we support most of the tapeless cameras out there in their native formats. I'm going to go ahead and look into the DSLR 5D folder. Lots of different clips there. You can go ahead and double click on them. Go ahead and set your in and out points. To make this demo a little quicker, I'm just going to grab the whole folder, drag it onto the new item icon, and it's going to go ahead and build me a Canon 5D 
custom sequence down here at the bottom. It just makes editing faster. So as you see, I can grab this and go ahead and scrub it. Absolutely scrubs beautifully. Let's go ahead and put some color correction on that, a pretty typical thing that we would do on Canon 5D files. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab maybe a fast color corrector. Let's go over to the effects controls, come in here and maybe we just wanna warm this up a bit. So we'll just sort of grab this and bring up the heat. And let's go ahead and bring this up full screen. And I'm gonna show you that we are playing back at full resolution on this AMD card. And let's hit play. And as you can see, absolutely no problem. Let's go ahead and apply that same effect to all the other clips. So I'm gonna right mouse click and copy that, select all these other clips and then just paste their attributes. So we've got heat going on on all those different clips there. Let's go ahead and play that back. And again, you can see absolutely flawless performance. If I wanna go ahead and bring up the CPU meters to see how much work is actually going in there, let's go ahead and do that. You can see we've got all eight of those threads working very hard at processing that material. Again, an advantage of 64-bit processing, hard at work. So again, Premiere Pro delivers. Let's go ahead and take a look at another typical scenario where we're gonna have maybe a red file uh, as a green screen on top of some other type of footage. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my media browser here and jump into my tapeless folders. And I've actually got some red footage down here that I can use. And I'll just drag this from the bin directly up here. Okay, I'm going to start by looking at this red clip. And I know that it was shot with an anamorphic lens. So I'm going to go in and show you a cool feature. Change how a file is interpreted. So I'm going to let it know that it's 2 to 1. And I click OK. And you'll notice we have the correct aspect ratio now. I'm going to drag and drop this on the new item icon. And that's going to create me a custom red sequence. Let's go ahead and look at the sequence settings here. And you'll notice that the settings are 2816 by 2304. So a really nice size red file. Now I know with the red files, previously I had to play these back on the generation laptop before this one at 1 8th resolution. Let's go ahead and check this out at 1 quarter and see how it plays back. And as you can see, playing back absolutely smooth. 3K red files playing back, no problem. Okay, let's go ahead and just drag our ultra keyer on top of our red clip. And go down maybe to your alpha channel and start taking a look at cleaning up your mat. I'm just... and set that back to composite, bring that up full screen, and just give you an idea of how it plays back. Again, you've got red 3K footage playing back absolutely no problem. So let's go ahead and add some additional footage to that background just to show you how the overall system performs. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sequence that I have of some Canon DSLR files, and I'm gonna move this red track up to video track two and go ahead and nest another sequence underneath it, just so we have something interesting in the, uh, in the background. So as you can see, the performance of our 64-bit playback engine in Premiere Pro CS5 is truly amazing. So again, just a quick look at the 64-bit software playback engine inside of Premiere Pro.